3D shape editing tutorial. In this tutorial I'll demonstrate how to edit curves and meshes in 3D using our simple toolset. So to start off with I'll draw a new lathe which will be the base of what we work on. You can select an individual curve within a lathe by clicking the right mouse button. And just to make things clearer, I'll switch to one view mode. <coughs> as soon as you draw a lathe, you're automatically changed into the Detail Edit tool, which allows you to redraw small portions of, portions of the lathe without uh, it destroying the rest of it. This tool is also available in the drawing drop down. <coughs> we can redraw an entire curve using the redraw curve tool. This will replace your selected curve with a new curve. If you're going for um, a mechanical clean cut shape, you can redraw any curve using one of our presets. For instance, semicircle. We'll pick the closest approximating semicircle to what you've drawn. This is quite often useful as a starting point before you use some of the other editing curves, editing tools. <coughs> the, so if we pick the detail drawing tool again, we can redraw a portion of the curve. The next tool is a straight rule tool. If you drag the mouse between two points on a curve, it will replace any section with a straight line. This will help make some more regular looking shapes. <coughs> Finally, the scissors tool lets you trim the ends off a curve. It's quite handy occasionally. Another tool which isn't on this list is uh, Smooth and you can use S as a shortcut to smooth the curve. As you can see, the edges are smooth the more times you press S. The shape of the model will be a, a bit corrupted if you use too low resolution, so for these examples I'm using quite a heavy resolution. Now in addition to the direct curve uh, redrawing and editing tools, we can use the normal editing tools such as move, rotate and scale on a curve. We can also use widget tools to do the same operations only on a small part of the curve. So you click on and drag from a certain point in the curve and it will move the curve from that point rather than the whole curve. And if we say reduce the scale of the tool, it will only move a small section of the curve. <coughs> we can change the shape of the movement from a spike to a block. And again, changing different scales gives you different effects. Just smoothing off the object there. <coughs> There's also a widget rotate tool, which sometimes is helpful for tweaking or making variations on a shape especially at the ends of an object if you want to have a flat ended shape like that. <coughs> so that's the basic uh, curve editing tools. We can also edit the whole surface of the mesh by converting a curvy lathe into a mesh. Object Convert to Mesh, or press K, 
And now we lose our curve, but now we can edit any part of the surface using the widget tools. So for instance, we can add nodules or spikes or with a very large scale tool we can distort the whole model. <coughs> and again the rotate tool will also work mostly for sort of tweaking shapes but you can get some quite nice effects out of it and that's the end of the curvy 3d editing tutorial <laughs>